Google's plans may block the Samsung Galaxy S8 from adopting Viv. Amazon Prime Video goes global and fights hard with an aggressive price tag, and Instagram has finally decided to play nice with those of us that want to remember posts. I'm Jaime Rivera, and if there is barking involved in this video, it's the beautiful Basset Hound that wants to go for a walk, which I'll do after the video. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with product launches. I am a big fan of Instagram, but I don't like that new algorithm that Facebook implemented. If you want to look for photos that you already saw, it's kind of hard to find them eventually. But there's this new feature called bookmarks, and all you have to do is simply select that for every photo that you end up liking, and it creates a separate feed for you in your profile area. Something that Instagram should have probably done from day one. Let's just bring the old algorithm back as well. Other official news have to do with product launches as Amazon goes directly to compete against Netflix now big time with Prime Video now going global. For $3 a month for the first six months and afterwards it goes for $6. The whole idea is to compete net with Netflix in a large scale. Netflix currently charges between $6 and $8 depending on which country you're at. Right now Amazon Prime Video supports 200 countries bringing their exclusive content in addition to whatever videos and movies they have available. And uh, yeah, three bucks and you can cancel any time. I think it's a good deal you should probably consider giving a try. Another company that seriously wants you to switch from iOS to Android is Google. And as we saw Apple launching its first Android application to help Android swishers back to the iPhone, this one is pretty much another way to do it backwards. Android.com slash switch and uh, the options that you get here are different ways for you to back up stuff on your iPhone to be able to switch to Android. Google Photos for photos, Google Drive for everything else. You also get 50,000 songs available for you if you switch from iTunes to Google Music, though you'll have to add your credit card to that. Regardless, it's a way to make it easy and I think you should definitely consider it as well. Now let's move the spotlight over to the Samsung Galaxy S7. We are still waiting for the features that we loved on the Note 7 to reach the S7, and rumors have it that we will get them on Nougat. Probably the biggest one is Secure Folder. Yes, people love the S Pen on the Note. For me, it was really Secure Folder. The fact that you could have two separate Facebooks with two different accounts, the fact that you could have two separate WhatsApps, etc. It just makes everything more convenient, particularly if you want to keep company accounts secure. So apparently that is coming. We just think it's going to happen after the S8. And finally, the very hot news today actually have to do with the Samsung Galaxy S8. Mainly because we hear that that uh, whole deal that Google and Samsung made back in 2014 in order for Samsung to not fork Android so much, well, apparently that's going to backfire against Viv. We hear that the Samsung Galaxy S8 is going to launch with Nougat Android 7.1.1, meaning the assistant could be in tow, but apparently Google doesn't want Samsung to implement Viv. And this is making us rather skeptical because apparently Vib is actually very cool. There's only one way to find out, but apparently we won't. Let's just wait to see what happens, but it leads me to the question of the day. If you had to choose, would you rather try Samsung's Viv or would you prefer a more holistic Google Assistant? In my case, I prefer for us to just stick to one Google Assistant and that be it. But leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed, follow us on pocketnow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.